Many people ask me, Pavlina, what is one book that changed your life? Or what personal development books do you recommend as a master it? So here it is, a video about the personal development books that changed my life and what I learned from each book. I'm Pavlina Babaluka, founder of Awaken Space Education, speaker and coach in personal development, personal branding and entrepreneurship. And after being in personal development for many years and running a personal development education business, I have read many books and many in person, many of the authors I have admired by cooperating with them. And I have realized one thing, a book cannot change your life. It's what you do with the information you read and how you apply the information that changes your life. Many people are professional personal growth book readers, but they rarely do anything with the information they read. So their life keeps staying the same and they wonder why. And you know what? I have done this in the past myself. I have read a book and then didn't do much with the information. And then many years later, I opened the same book and I realized that I had inside all the answers that I was looking for. One of the authors I have cooperated with when I ran a seminar with him in Cyprus, Bob Proctor, told me something that stayed with me. When you read a book, really study it. Take a paragraph, a page, a chapter, and read it over and over and over again, and then practice that information until you master it. He refers to one book he has been reading for many years and is always on his desk, Think and Grow Rich. This idea of really studying a book over and over and over again has been a common pattern that I have heard from many of the well-known authors that I have met, some of the wisest teachers on the planet today. They have had one book or certain books that they studied over and over and over again for many years, sometimes for life. For me, it's not one book that changed my life. It's a number of books that had a huge influence on me at different stages of my life. I have most of the books that influenced me uh, the most here with me today. Some of them I couldn't have here as they're in my parents' storage. And some of these books I go back and I study from time to time. And uh, every time I go back, I find something new in the book that I want to work on or that I want to implement. Book number one, The Silva Mind Control Method by Jose Silva. This was the first personal development seminar that my mother took me to when I was 16. This book that I have with me, it's so old, it's falling apart in pieces and I found it on my parents' library. This method taught me that I can create anything by visualizing, I overcame fears and I learned how to give instructions to the brain to erase bad thoughts. It included a lot of methods that today are called NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming. And I'm so grateful for my mother for taking me to this training at such a young age. Book number two. Awaken the Giant Within by Anthony Robbins. As soon as I graduated from university with my MBA, I jumped on a plane to go to Mykonos to party. On that plane, I met this woman who had attended every seminar and retreat that Tony Robbins had done. And she told me to get this book. Reading this book helped me land my first dream jobs, which was public relations manager in three media groups. While I was too young to do that and I had zero background or experience because it taught me to believe in myself, to set a goal and go for it with full confidence. I remember one day before my job interview at the biggest media group in Cyprus, I was sitting under a tree in my garden, meditating and visualizing me getting that job. And I did. At 23, I was a public relations manager of a national TV channel. Book number three, Manifest Your Destiny by Dr. Wayne Dyer. 
Dr. Wayne Dyer is the author and speaker I want to be like. I always wanted to be like him. When I hear him speak, he's so inspired and inspirational, which means in spirit. He was a living example of manifesting your destiny and he taught everything by first living it himself and by overcoming great challenges in his life. This book is always teaching me about growing spiritually and how much I can achieve through the power of meditation and connecting with the higher part of me and the universal intelligence. It makes me feel safe and calm whenever things get off track. And it has helped me manifest a lot of what I'm living today. And I always use the advice in this book to manifest my destiny. Book number four the movie the secret so the secret book was actually a movie first and uh, i was probably one of the first people that watched the movie as soon as, as it was released in 2006 and this movie has been so impactful in my life and uh, in what i'm doing today through this movie i went on the internet i googled all these mentors and i found my first mentors john asaraf Dr. John Demartini and Bob Proctor. I later went on to collaborate with Dr. John Demartini and Bob Proctor by bringing them to Cyprus and starting my education business. When I watched this movie, I realized how many things I knew about the power of the mind, but I wasn't using, and I, I had a constant negative tape playing in my mind, and I told myself, okay, I understand, what's going on now in my life, why I'm having some negative patterns, what do I need to do to change that? I need to take action, I need to learn from the best in the world. So I decided at that time that I was gonna learn from the people who are the living examples of what I wanted to create. And when I went to the, to the US to attend some seminars and I attended online mentoring programs, I said, this is what I want to do with my life. And nobody was doing it at the time in my country and even in Europe, but I made that decision in 2007. And today I have already mentored hundreds and thousands of people and I'm doing what these mentors were doing at that time when I made that decision. So it was really a very impactful uh, book for my life. And actually this is You Were Born Rich by Bob Proctor, whom I met in Cyprus. I don't have the books of the other authors from The Secret that I met with me because they're in my parents' storage. But uh, um, Dr. John Martini, John Asaraf, and literally so many people from The Secret uh, have impacted my life in a big way. Book number five, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This book helped me understand and correct so many mistakes I was making in my relationships with other people and told me how I, I can go so much farther by being interested in other people and showing appreciation instead of trying to be interesting. Book number six, The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Hugely transformational book for me. When I came across this book in 2007, I was attending my first online mentoring program with John Asaraf, who interviewed Tim Ferriss on one of the mentoring sessions. This book introduced me to the idea that I can work from anywhere with my laptop, even from here by the beach where I lived the past eight years, and that I can have a business that can be online. I went on to create the lifestyle described in this book, I can work from anywhere today and I have a business that is online with clients from around the world. Thank you so much, Tim Ferriss. Book number seven, Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. I was probably one of the first people who read Gary Vaynerchuk's first book in 2008 or 9 when it was first published. And well, that's why I'm sitting here today creating this video. This book is about building your personal brand using social media and blogging. But it's also a lot more than that. It's a mindset. It's about living your passion, utilizing the power of social media tools the right way, building a business. I actually went on to interview Gary Vaynerchuk in 2013 and I have been following all his advice to grow my education business and become an international speaker, which I am today. Book number eight, The Wealth Dragon Way 
by John Lee and Vincent Wong. I met John Lee on Facebook in 2015 and he became my mentor, my personal mentor. Since then, we have created multiple seminars together, we traveled the world, and we even had dinner together with my favorite shoe designer, Jimmy Chu, in Malaysia. Everything he and his business partner, Vincent, teach in this book, they live and they practice every day. The co-author of this book, Vincent Wong, the business partner of John Lee, my mentor, has also been a great mentor for me, especially during a speaker's retreat in Bali, where he helped me be the kind of speaker that can truly connect with the audience from stage by using the power of stories and emotions. So thank you, John Lee and Vincent Wong. And book number nine, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, by Stephen Covey. This is a book I read recently and uh, I'm wondering why I hadn't read this book uh, so far in my life even though I had it with me for many years. It's an incredible book and it's really about mastering yourself, mastering your relationships with others and becoming a great leader. So many useful insights in this book. And book number 10. What's next? Well, that's my book. I'm in the process of writing my own book with a publisher and you have to wait and see. It's time for me to write my own book from what I have created by implementing what I have learned and what life has taught me through the unique, uh, powerful life experience that I have had so far in starting from scratch, building my business, finding my purpose, finding my mentors, and then going on to build my personal brand and become an international speaker, a coach, a mentor, and now an author. So now it's your turn. What are the books that changed your life and how did they change your life? Please recommend in the comments below because with your recommendations, you can help others who are looking for solutions. This is Magnea Baluka. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and share with your friends to spread the knowledge and inspiration. See you next time.